Hello, hello, everyone. So welcome to Cold Black Facts. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for returning. If you're new, I appreciate you. Also, you guys know that this channel is created for black people. We talk about black issues, anything concerning black people, because, of course, I think that, you know, we definitely need the, the most help, the most, you know, positive promotion and imagery. And so this is why this channel is dedicated to um, you know, black people and our issues and anything concerning us. So you guys, thank you and continue to tune in. Okay. So I was on Facebook and I saw this question, as you guys can see, the question is on the screen and it reads serious question. How long does it take a black woman hair to grow? Like, damn, is weave necessary for life? Okay. And so that was a question that was po posed by a gentleman and it really made me think about some things concerning black women hair and how our hair grows and whether or not our hair grows. And if our hair, you know, if men are able to grow their hair better than black women or, um, you know, just all of those different things. So this is why this video was created. All right. Black men, you guys, black men and black women, we come from the same wombs. We come from the same vaginas, literally like you come from a black woman and a black man. We come from black women and black men. Okay. So we come from the same, you know, genetics, you know, so I want to put that out there because to me, there's no difference between, you know, there may be some slight differences. I say that I, I'll take that back. There may be some slight differences in terms of, you know, testosterone and estrogen and things like that. Right. There may be those types of differences, but specifically with hair growth, um, and genetically, you know, we come from the same place. So black, if a black man can grow hair, so can a black woman. Now, the question that I posed upon myself was, you know, is it easier for black men to grow their hair? And I would say it is. I would say it really, truly is. And I'm going to tell you guys why. So first of all, let me start out with some issues that black women face. Okay. And I'm going to be very candid and very honest about the issues that many black women face, not all, but many. Okay. So some of those issues are over manipulation, black women. We have a major problem, not all of us, but many of us, we have a major problem over manipulating our hair. And there's a lot of factors that go into why we over manipulate our hair. Um, and so that is a major issue with hair growth among black women. We just do too much all the time on a consistent basis with our hair and that poses many problems another thing that we do is you know there a lot of black women growing up they were not taught they were not properly taught I remember when I grew up you know there were very few products for my hair and I have 4c hair I'm a black woman I have a black father black mother and you know I have a I have you know really good thick, long hair. But, um, again, growing up, it wasn't a lot of products to be used and growing up, I got perms. My, I mean, I got my hair relaxed growing up. So for me, you know, that's how I learned to take care and maintain my hair because that was what was in. Obviously I got older, you have the natural hair movement come into play and I decided to get more healthy, not just with my hair, but with my overall body, my overall life. But with healthiness came hair healthiness as well. And so I learned a lot about nat uh, natural hair. So I found that with a lot of women, and this is these are no excuses, okay? Because we're going to also cover some of the ex some, some issues that deal with excuses that many black women use, okay? Um, but not knowing or not, you know, being taught or learned how to properly take care of hair is a major issue among many black women not all but many again this is something that can be solved very easily if you if you know a woman does not know how to take care of her hair herself she can always hire someone to do it um and if she can do that she can always go on google or you know on youtube or somewhere and get different you know tips on how to maintain her hair type that's what i did um and so it that was very easy but you know that's one thing the next thing, the third thing, laziness. There are a lot of women who are lazy, okay? And when I say lazy, they do just enough to make sure they got some hair on their head. 
It doesn't matter if the hair is healthy or not. They do just enough to make sure that the hair is there on their head. And that's what you call laziness. Because in order to have a healthy body, a healthy mind, healthy hair, healthy skin, healthy whatever, it takes work. It takes work. There are very few people that do not have to work to maintain, you know, the be the beauty of their teeth, the beauty of their skin, the whatever, like it takes work when you're trying to maintain healthiness in any area, but specifically with hair. So that's another thing that a lot of black women have issues with is the laziness. You know, many women are lazy and there are factors that go into the laziness. You know, you have children, you have, you know, stress, you, you're tired. I mean, there's so many different issues. That's a whole nother YouTube, but, um, that's one thing. And then Another major thing is styling techniques. And when I say styling techniques, I kind of hit on some of these. One is flat ironing. Another is relaxing hair, heat manipulation. We are very bad with that, many of us. Um, tight braids, glue, or anything that really holds the hair, you know, strongly holds the hair. Um, and just using those types of product on our hair. Those are bad, and there are a lot of styling techniques that we use that are just not good for maintaining healthy hair that will grow, okay? And from all of that, we have issues, right? So I named over-manipulation, not knowing or learning about how to properly take care of hair, laziness, and styling techniques. All of those play a major role in black women hair growth whether they are able to grow it or whether they're able not to grow it, okay? Okay, so from the issues that I just named, you have problems that come out of those issues, such as breakage. You know, um, when you over-manipulate the hair, it can cause breakage. When you over-manipulate the hair, it can also cause, you know, you to not be able to retain length, okay? Um, and also it can cause scalp issues and mess up your hair follicles. Um, braiding is really one of the main things that I see or that I hear about where, you know, when the braids are too tight, you know, sometimes it takes out people's edges or, you know, it causes ball spots because the braids are pulled so tight. And I know growing up, like I used to wear a ponytail in the top of my head all the time. That was like the thing. And I remember I would pull my hair so tight to where in the very top of my head, you know, I'm like 13 years old, I was starting to have like a little bald spot. And that was because I would pull my hair so tight and it'd be right there in the top of my head. And I would, you know, kind of roll it around and stick bobby pins there. And it started creating, you know, some friction that started creating a bald spot. So that's what happens with, you know, a lot of women's hair. And when you don't know these things or you're not aware of these things, you just continue to do to your hair as you normally would or how you were taught to do. Um, and I want to clear up a myth. So just because people in general, black people in general, know that relaxers and, and things like that on hair is not good, that's the very basics. Like, you know, at this point in time, we all know about what relaxers do. So to me, you know, telling someone that, oh, you shouldn't relax your hair, it's kind of like self-explanatory. They know, they just don't care a lot of times, right? Um, and so that's like the very basics of hair care. When we start talking about, like I said, over manipulation, you know, not really learning um, how to do hair, how to taint, maintain healthy hair, you know, the laziness. When we start talking about that, the styling techniques that are used, that to me is when you're really educating someone on, you know, why the hair may not be growing. And then also genetics is a major part, but I don't want to really get into that because, you know, I'm not like a biochemist or whatever I would have to be to, to study genetics. But I do know genetics do play a part in hair growth and how fast your hair grows. But this video is not about that. This video is about whether or not black men grow hair better than black women um you know and to kind of like give different you know issues that black women have when it comes to growing hair okay so other factors that play into hair growth are medications you know or medical issues eating habits um of course water i think all black people uh have an issue with drinking lots and lots of water like i truly believe that well, I can't say all, but a good majority of us, 
have issues with drinking enough water. Um, you know, and to be quite honest with you, anyone will tell you, any doctor, anybody who does hair, they'll tell you drinking water is very important, not just to your hair, but to your skin, to your overall health. Like 75% of our body is made of, is water, it's liquid. So drinking a lot of water is very, very important to hair growth. And I just think that as a collective, just black people in general, um, not all of us, but many of us, to include myself, we have, you know, problems drinking enough water. And that's very um, key to hair growth as well. And then also our environments, you know, um, what we have access to. You do have some women who all they have access to is the chick down the street, you know, who she don't really know about hair care. She's just doing hair out of her kitchen. It looks good, but it may not necessarily be the healthiest or best techniques to be done on hair. And so you have a lot of women who have that friend, that homegirl, who you know how to whip some hair. You know what I'm saying? And they may not be licensed. And not saying that you have to be licensed to know hair health and anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm just making the point that the access to, you know, hair care and healthy hair and people who are able to do that, you know, it takes money. And you have some women, they just don't know. They have money to go get the bare minimum. They'll go to the store, get the weave, get a wig, get whatever they need, the products. And then they'll take it down the street and get their homegirl to do it for, you know, like half the price that they may charge if they were to go to the beauty salon or to somebody who specializes in healthy hair because there are, um, people in the hair industry who specialize in hair growth and healthy hair and those people they charge and you know if you know what you're doing I know a lot of women and men who can grow hair and they you know they're not cheap so when you don't have access to that you know that can pose problems as well okay so here we go men this is what you've been waiting for so I gave you some issues that women face that I believe you know men don't face and I'm going to tell you why the difference between men and women, okay, so for the men, men don't, you know, men do far less manipulation to their hair than women do, okay? Men typically will go get their hair done, and when I say done, you know, they may get it braided, they may get it uh, locked up, you know, they may get it twisted, men may get whatever to their hair, and they usually get that and they're, they're done. Whereas women, when we go get our hair done, we in the mirror that day, the next day, the next day after that, the week after that, manipulating our hair, doing stuff to our hair, putting curling irons in it, heat in it, putting different products on it. We over manipulate our hair. And when it comes to the comparison of men over manipulation and women, men do it far less. And I'm not just talking about you go get your hair twisted, braided or whatever, and then you put you know a product on it to make it look shiny or whatever. I'm not talking about that. That's the bare minimum. That's not even really manipulation. That's more so maintaining. Women in particular, we will put stuff on our hair. We'll maintain it, but then we also manipulate it. And a lot of that can be caused because of work. Some women got to go to work. Their hair got to look a certain way, you know, and they put whatever in it. Over manipulation. Women, a lot of women have an issue with getting the, our hair done, right, and just leaving it alone. That's the key. I had to learn it the hard way, okay? I had to learn the hard way. Getting my hair done and just, just straight up leaving it alone. Obviously, I, I go and I make sure it's moisturized and I do all of that. But then just leaving it alone. We have an issue with that. Men don't typically have an issue with that, okay? Um, also, using a lot of products. Men, from what I've you know experienced and have seen, men typically use one or two. You're not going to go to a man's house or apartment or wherever bathroom and see a million products under his cabinet that's just not what you're going to see you may see a lot of cologne you may see a lot of you know other different things like that but you're not typically typically going to see a lot of hair products for his hair that's not really what you're going to see with women oh that's what you will see you can go to most to any woman even my bathroom and I sell hair care products, okay? And you're going to see a plethora of hair care products. Um, because, again, as women, we just, we, again, this is a lot. We use a lot on our hair. Men, typically, you guys do not do that. Men typically have one or two products that they use on their hair. Women have, like, 40. And they may use them consistently depending on, you know, night, day, what they're trying to do to their hair. I mean, 
it's just a lot. And so we got to look at that and take that into consideration. Um, and the main reason is I kind of already hit on this, you know, men typically get their hair done and they leave it alone until the next time women will get our hair done in the the very same day or the next day we up in the bathroom in the mirror and we are doing things to our hair manipulating our hair we're rebraiding it we're retwisting it we're recurling it we are you know whatever and all of that is manipulation okay um also uh what else did i want to say i think that's it I think I, I think I covered everything. So I just wanted to go over that with you guys. I hope now that maybe we all have a better understanding. Now, am I saying am I saying that men, you know, grow hair better than women? Uh, I was I would say in some cases, in some cases, not all, but in some cases. And the only reason why I say some is because you know, like I said, men. One of the key elements to hair retention and growing hair is that you get it, you you get your hair done and then leave it alone. Just leave it alone. And I'm talking about men who intentionally grow their hair. I'm not talking about men who just kind of do whatever. I'm talking about men who intentionally grow their hair. You know, they usually are able to do that and without as many issues and problems as women, as their counterparts, right? Um, so that's it for that. And then the main question, obviously, was the one that's on the screen. Serious question. How long does it take a black woman hair to grow? That, okay. Black women, our hair grows monthly. Everybody hair grows, right? The the key to hair growth is maintaining the length, retention, hair retention, right? So if, as long as your hair is growing and then you're you're retaining the length, then your hair, you know, is, you're gonna see the growth, right? But what happens is you can't see the growth a lot of times because, of like what I said, you have over manipulation. You have women not really knowing or learning how to properly take care of their hair type. Okay, because we got to learn about taking care of our hair type. I can't do what probably Alicia Keys do to her hair. You know, I have to do something different because my hair, I have a different hair texture, right? Um, and laziness, dealing with the laziness, and then also styling and techniques used that we use. So those are some of the main things. Also, make sure you, make sure you guys um, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. Also, look at some of the other videos that I've created. I think they, those videos may interest you. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.